guys welcome back okay so i decided to go ahead and do an unboxing of my boxy charms this month i wasn't sure i was kind of going back and forth but i finally got my premium and my base box that you know i pay for every month <laughs> um show up my premium came first my regular box got lost then they found it then it got lost again then it showed up so <laughs> I don't know what happened with my regular box, but it's been kind of crazy this month. So I will say that I did take a peek in my premium box when it came because, you know, I just, I don't know. I haven't been feeling it lately, you guys. I haven't been feeling it. And for some reason, I just can't seem to cancel Boxy. I can't quit Boxy, okay? I don't know what it is, but maybe I'm just hoping that they will kind of go back to how it used to be, but I think it's too far gone at this point. But anyways, let's open up these boxes. I'm gonna start with my premium since I know what's in here already and share it with you guys. Now, my premium did not come with a card, so I'm just gonna have to show you guys and tell you what's in here to the best of my ability because I'm not about to look anything up right this second. <laughs> so, let me put on my specs. Okay, so let me take out this first item here. This one I have received before in a monthly subscription box and I do actually really like this. It's the CEO from Sunday Riley Vitamin C Rich Hydration Cream. Very, very nice face cream. I really like using this stuff on days when I need like an extra, extra amount of moisture and hydration because it is a bit thick, but it smells really good. <laughs> it smells like citrus and I do, oh, it does. It smells like you just freshly cut an orange open. So that's what it looks like. Nice and thick. I like using stuff like this on days when I know I'm not gonna put any makeup on or if I want something to really absorb into my skin overnight, stuff like that, you know. I like lighter moisturizers for when I'm going to put makeup and stuff on top of it. So this is really good moisturizer, so happy about that. Next I have here a lip product. This is from MAC, Satin Lipstick, and what shade is this? snob okay <laughs> so this is what the box looks like and it looks like a really pretty color i like max bullet shaped lipsticks and this is the color that i got which is snob so it looks like a really nice pretty light pink possibly like you know i could wear it like a nudie type pink it's kind of close to the color i have on right now which is actually from DJ's Unique Boutique. If you like it, there's a link down below <laughs> and you can order you this color I have on right now. So that's really, really cute. Okay, what else do we have here? This is from Tarte. Lights, camera, splashes, waterproof mascara. I'm probably not gonna open this up, like open it, open it. I don't know what the wand looks like, but I think I have a small one shaped like this, unless they have other mascaras in this same type of packaging. But I think I have a small sample one. I might have given it away though, but I will definitely put this in my mascara drawer to try out during my shop, my stash, because I've never tried this before, a waterproof mascara. I don't know that I really care about my mascara being waterproof for the most part because I don't know that I really need that. I don't have watery eye issues, but I guess it's pretty nice. Next I have here, okay, this is another eyelash product from Dermalect XL Lash Volumizer. This is what the packaging looks like. So let's see, what is this? Eyelash and Eyebrow Booster Formula. Trans transforms lashes to appear longer, thicker, fuller, and stronger. Okay. And they say it's good for eyebrows too. So I'm assuming this is some kind of serum. So this is what the packaging looks like. Nice and sleek. XL Volumizer. So let me see what this looks like. I like products like this. Yeah, it looks like it's just some type of product that you put on your lashes and your brows. 
like products like this, but I always forget to use them. I had started using uh, something for my eyelashes back in the day, you know, to try and help them grow longer and fuller. And I used it maybe for about a month and didn't really see that much of a difference. So I kind of stopped using it, but I might try it out. It seems like something I definitely needed for my brows, okay? <laughs> If you guys watch me regularly, you know I ain't got no brows, okay? This is all manufactured brow, okay? <laughs> so, I might actually focus in on my eyebrows. Now, this here, when I saw this, I was not too happy. I mean, it's a great product. I love products that kind of exfoliate and scrub my body and all that stuff in the shower. This is from Daily Concepts daily detox massaging brush and honestly it is it's a nice product put it in the shower use it scrub your body real good really nice do i want this in my boxy charm no this is something i would prefer to purchase on my own you know and pick out what i really want or really like but i mean it looks nice enough though so i'm sure someone is really really happy to get this and i'm definitely going to use it but I kind of like to get makeup and skincare in my boxes. And lastly, for my premium box, I did get a palette this month. This is the Ciate London, the editor palette. So this is what the packaging looks like. And let me open her up. Now, at first glance, looking at this palette with this plastic packaging, it kind of reminds me of like Makeup Revolution you know, their plastic packaging <laughs> for their palettes. Um, I don't believe I have any other Ciate London palettes. If I do, I probably got it from BoxyCharm because I haven't purchased any. But yeah, let's open her up. And this one, let's see, did I say the name? Yeah, the Editor palette. So this is what she looks like inside. And even the whole setup with the shadows inside the palette definitely reminds me of revolution so i'm just hoping and praying that it doesn't perform like revolution i think i'm probably going to do a video like trying this palette out just to see how it is because the colors are pretty i mean it's not anything i would necessarily choose because it is you know on the cool tone um spectrum of eyeshadows but I feel like I could really do something, of course, with the blues and greens in here. You know, there's a pretty purple shimmer. So yeah, there's some pretty colors in here. But yeah, it just, it really reminds me a lot of <laughs> Makeup Revolution, which, you know, is not necessarily a good thing. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so that's everything that I got in my premium box so let me put this stuff away and we can open up my base box now this one does have a card in it it says spa glamping sunbathe yoga summer so it just kind of has like some of the fun things that have to do with summer that most of us are not doing right now while in quarantine but <laughs> yeah it has s'mores on here s'mores are my favorite when i go camping ask my husband i can't i'm like look we can't go camping without the s'mores okay that's a must so yeah i love s'mores but anyways <laughs> i have box number 28 variation 28 if you can see that with the heart down there and so let's go ahead and run through this box so the first item here is the Glam Glow Moisture Trip Omega Rich Face Moisturizer. And this looks kind of familiar, so it looks like it might be what I chose. Lately, I've been missing my choices and stuff. I don't know what's been going on. I'll go in there, it won't let me in. They don't send me my emails. So I've missed my choice on a few boxes, but this looks like something that I did possibly choose. I'm not sure. But it's, the packaging is gorgeous. <laughs> you see that? So pretty. And I'm of the notion that I can never have too many moisturizers. So that's why I'm not mad about that Sunday Riley vitamin C one that I got. And I'm not mad about this Glam Glow. I've never tried this before. So it'll be nice to try out. Let me see if it has any type of scent or anything to it. Kind of looks like that avocado. Uh, moisturizer has a light green 
tint. Nope, it doesn't smell like anything. So either my nose is dead or <laughs> it, uh, it doesn't have a scent to it because I can't smell anything. Okay. And it says that that retails for $54. I wish I had the pricing on my premium box, but I don't. Okay, next. Oh, a brush set. This is from Morphe. <laughs> Morphe. <laughs> this is from Morphe. I got this four piece eye brush collection so this is what it looks like i'll turn it to the side because it's kind of long but it's in this little packaging here let me open this up now i actually use morphe brushes on the regular i use morphe brushes every time i do my eyes i don't use morphe face brushes you know complexion brushes or anything like that but um for my eyes and eyeshadow oh yeah all the time so i'm not mad about this at all i love morphe brushes okay <laughs> they just work for me so these are the brushes that came in this set so it's a really nice collection of your basic eyeshadow brushes that you would need to create a look um so yeah i'm not mad at this not mad at it at all was not expecting this i didn't know that they was putting morphe in the boxes but okay okay next i have here it says thank me later this is from elizabeth mott eyeshadow primer so that's what the packaging looks like not mad to get an eyeshadow primer i love trying out different primers for my eyeshadow base okay cute that's what the tube looks like seems like i've heard of this company have never tried anything from them before so i'll be curious to see how this works now i didn't say the morphe brush set retails for 12 dollars. okay so that's reasonable this elizabeth mott thank me later eye primer retails for 20 dollars. okay so we'll check it out i will definitely be placing this in my items for my shop my stash <laughs> so i can choose it y'all know i've been using my p louise eyeshadow base like it's going out of business honey i love that stuff but i'm gonna have to use something else <laughs> okay now these last two items i'm not too sure about okay they're both from tristique this one is the summer glow and go mini summer essentials set okay so this is what it looks like <laughs> does not look very cocolicious girl friendly okay so let's see what's in here there is a mini highlight stick a mini blush stick a mini shadow crayon and a mini brow pencil hmm. okay so this is what the kit looks like <laughs> This is what the kit looks like okay so there's a highlighting stick no there's a blush stick no <laughs> what is this? this is an eyeshadow stick so it's like some type of like I don't want to use it because I'm definitely gonna have to give this away I'm, I'm not using this stuff so this is like eyeshadow you know a shimmery type eyeshadow i may as well show you guys all of them but i'm not gonna swatch them because i'm giving this away this is the highlighter so that's what the highlighter looks like <laughs> they could at least give me like a warm bronzy highlighter to play with okay this is the blush so that's what the blush looks like the blush actually looks really pretty it really does it looks really pretty but if i'm gonna give the set away i don't want to use one item and be like oh you can have the other three <laughs> and then this one is for the eyebrows and first of all i hate these type of applicators for eyebrows i don't like that it's that like kind of triangle shape and that color uh -uh, i'm not even gonna play myself not gonna play myself with that color okay so yeah boxy really really missed the mark on this one boxy i'm black okay but your girl i'm black <laughs> i can't use this okay and lastly this one also from Trey Steak, 
a matte for every mood. Wait, let me tell you how much that all over face set <laughs> retails for. The Summer Glow and Go set retails for $42 for those four little sticks, $42. This is the Tristique, a matte for every mood lip kit. And this is a mini matte lip crayon set retails for $58. $58 and there's six lip crayons in here this at least looks more promising as far as colors that I can use so these are the colors in this lip crayon set so yeah they're definitely colors that I can use um, even these lighter shades you know I can go in with a lip liner and whatever fill in my lips with these I'm not gonna swatch them because no not sure if I'm gonna keep that either but at least that one is one that looks like I can use and that's it you guys no palette no face palette no blush palette no bronzer palette no palette <laughs> so I got a lip crayon set uh, <sighs> A face glow stick set I got this nice little moisturizer here from glam glow I got some eyeshadow primer and I got four brushes from Morphe so that is my August boxy charm base box okay so yeah <laughs> Hopefully you enjoyed watching me open my boxes. Please sound off down below. Let me know what you think, your comments, your thoughts, your hopes, your dreams, your wishes, honey, because I got a few, okay? But yeah, that's it <laughs> for this month's boxing job of boxing, y'all. I, you know, not one of these days I'll stop torturing myself. Who knows? It's just, you know, I feel like when I cancel, then the next box is going to be the best box they've ever given, you know? I gotta get over it. But anyways, thanks so much for watching, you guys. Uh, don't forget to hit that like, and I will see you on my next video. Toodles!